Hi friends, so in this lecture we are going to learn about the insert of MongoDB. So insert is one of the most simplest command to master in MongoDB. So uh, what I am showing here is a MongoDB documentation wherein you can get the example uh, which will help you to follow. So I would highly encourage you guys to just go and check out the docs.mongo.org and you see a tutorial where you can find the CRUD operations and we're going to follow these examples because they are easy. I'm just giving you an introduction and will show you like the hands-on hands -on thing. So you can pause, open this tutorial uh, on MongoDB website and try to uh, you know follow the insert tutorial as we go through this lecture so uh, let us try to real quick uh, uh, pull up the mongo shell so here we go we have our mongo shell so let us see which database we are so we are in mongo tutorials now uh, we when whenever we have to insert any data in mongodb we have to have a table or a collection. So let's see how many collections are there. There is nothing seems like. So if there is no collection and you try to insert something, it would get insert automatically. So as I told you in last lectures, it's a JSON object which can get inserted. So let's try to make a real simple object so this is an object we say object right now when so db is a variable like object is a variable or anything so db stands for mongo tutorials so you need to get a collection in mongo uh, mongo tutorial so this implies this variable so we just say db dot and then we say in db dot any table name so we can say it as inventory i n v e n t o r inventory dot insert so as i told you before that if this collection doesn't exist mongo will try and create it if it exists it would add on that and make sure that uh, uh, this is case sensitive as javascript because again it's a javascript so um, there would be two collection if you make it like uppercase or something i'll show you that real quick so let's finish our intro thing insertion something wrong here what's that object spelling obj what we had obj ect db dot inventory dot i n s e r t insert there we go it is successful now we will try to find an inventory if we have a record inserted and there it is you see whenever there is an insert uh, mongo will uh, you know, insert a primary id which is the uh, this object uh, id which is unique and I was wondering how come it is unique. So I just researched and figured out it's a combination of the process ID and the timestamp and the machine ID. So it, it's unique. Whenever you insert, it would have this primary key, which would be unique. Now, as I said, that any uh, uh, valid JSON can be inserted. So let us try to go a little bit complex in here. And before that, let us try if I do like same thing with some. So now once we inserted it, we'll see the collections. You see one collection, which is called as inventory. If you try to add one more record, but you 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 thought like inventory i and low like they're same so i just want to you know tell you or warn you that no they are not because now if you would like to see the collections you see these two and the beginners basically when i was like learning new i uh, wasted a lot of time uh, because of case insensitivity 
in application if you are trying to access database just make sure that whatever is the name in whatever case you have given in the DB it has to be there it's not like Oracle or MySQL where you convert everything uppercase or they are like case insensitive it's not like that so it's an important point to be noted so we gonna use the simple the smaller case uh, stuff and then we can insert anything so let's go a little bit advanced so you can uh, insert the uh, any valid JSON like let's try here from the documentation without wasting any time so we have a JSON which has the key and the value and this is a key who we, like last time it's string but key is the object so you have a JSON object inside which you have again an embedded JSON object which has its own key and a value and then you have a key called as talk which has a value of array and this array is of JSON object so this much complexity can go and so this is a good example of complex uh, example so I have just inserted a blank JSON object now we let us clean CLS we will paste it and there we go so the record is successful we can find it so I'm just doing a arrow key as we learned it in last lecture and we see all the results of the document which is being shown here so insert is like pretty much the same this is like very simple another thing is uh, inserting using the like bulk option which is like if you have a document a array of objects you can do insertion at one time like in a single go in some collection so we will follow this example what we are going to do here is we have a variable defined first so if we say my documents you see it's a, an array of different JSON objects which we need to insert in the collection so this is database name collection name insert and you are passing a list uh, if you pass a list you don't have to um, wrap it around with the curly braces or the you know the JSON objects you know what I mean I I'll just say uh, if you do a DB dot inventory uh, I N in I N V E N T or inventory dot insert so when we were inserting we were doing these uh, Mm, brackets to make it JSON but when we uh, want to uh, pass a list you just use the simple parenthesis and we will try what it what is it it's my documents so oh I misspelled it I N S E R T insert there we go so it shows that it's a bulk insert or write operations which has inserted three records if it updates something it would show you there match I'll, I'll tell you when we do find then whatever matching records it find it would show the number there modified removed if you're trying to remove upsert is something like insert or update which means it would insert if record is not there if record is there it would update and if there are any errors it would be shown in this array list brackets so this is pretty much it for this lecture and to summarize what we learned is um, uh, practically any valid JSON object can be inserted in MongoDB and syntax is very simple whichever database you're using you just have to give the collection name and insert and insert has two like you can either pass a valid JSON or a list of JSON which will essentially do a bulk insert I hope you enjoyed 
See you in next part of the tutorial.